Every year, hundreds of thousands of surgeries are performed in hospitals across Canada, the JGH being no different. Thanks to great advances in surgical technology, the JGH has taken steps into the future, embracing new, minimally invasive procedures. In the last year alone, the JGH became the first hospital in Canada to perform two procedures using state-of-the-art technology. To make it even more incredible, both procedures were performed on the same patient, a young woman in her 20s, Miss Sarah Kanzer. It feels good, I guess. I don't know. It's, uh, I'm, I'm happy to be a, a pioneer, I guess, in the medical field, but I'm also happy that they both went really well, I guess. So it's, it's uh, you know, they're both very like successful first times, which is nice. And I, I think that now I think a lot, a lot of people will benefit from it in the sense that they can use it for other people who have the same problems. Following a routine ultrasound on her kidneys, a benign tumor was discovered on her pancreas. Dr. Tafir Vanunu, a staff surgeon at the JGH, believed Ms. Kanzer was a great candidate to undergo the procedure by robot, known as a robotic Whipple procedure. The robot is known as the Da Vinci Surgical System, an effective, minimally invasive alternative to traditional surgery. This system allows surgeons to perform delicate and complex operations through a few tiny incisions with increased visibility, precision, dexterity, and control. Robotic surgery has been able to overcome some of the limitations of laparoscopic surgery by allowing us to once again use the same small incisions, but now the instrumentations that we have are much fancier, allow us much more freedom of movement, allow us to do more complex suturing and procedures within the abdomen, and also the robotic camera is a three-dimensional camera, allowing us to see the interior of the abdomen in a three-dimensional view as opposed to a two-dimensional view. A few months after the initial procedure, a complication was discovered, a blocked bile duct. A traditional intervention would have meant a complicated open surgery. For this new case, however, Ms. Kanzer was referred to Dr. Errol Kamlioglu, a radiologist at the JGH, who thought he would try something new using a radio frequency wire a tool normally used in the recanalization of veins. The field that we're in, interventional radiology, it's actually it's very often that we're usually at the forefront of a lot of technologies and we're often in, uh, in a situation where we have to improvise and try and figure out solutions to things. And Ms. Kanzer was a, was a very interesting case where all the conventional methods of trying to fix the problem that occurred as a, as a consequence of her previous surgery had failed, this blockage of her, of her liver and her bile duct. So, um, that's why we finally came up with this idea of trying this, uh, this new technique. For one patient, these technological advances have meant the difference between a painful, long recovery and the ability to continue living a healthy, long and active life. For JGH-TV, this is Astrid Morin.